Welcome back. We are going to go through a couple more bins. So I think we're getting down to the end. We might have a few more videos after this. We'll see how much we put in this one, but let's dig into it. All right, the first thing I'm pulling out is this tote. It got a little bent up in storage, but still a nice tote. And we've got some, these are actually pretty cool, these paper clips with the tabs on them. But this tote has lots of pockets and stuff for, I would assume, your craft supplies. Here's some flowers. Um, it's actually pretty nice. I don't know, I'm not seeing a brand, but it definitely looks like it was for crafts. So, there's that, and then we have this tote, let's see what's in here. Oh, you know what, these I showed and I just tossed them back in there. So I was asking, I'll go ahead and tell you, I was asking about these in a previous video and then realized, or someone said they were Tim Holtz fragments and I'm pretty sure you're right. So that's cool, I'm gonna have fun um, playing with those. Let's see, is there any? All right, these are, these obviously go with a notebook. Are these the same size? Yeah, these are pretty cute. Okay, I have a binder I think these go in, a bow bunny binder, so we'll put that in there. I, hope, I don't think I showed you guys this, did I? <laughs> we'll see. All right, some Project Life cards, some random stickers, here's some crate paper. There is a whole bunch of this chipboard and it's already cut. So that would make some nice, cute little album covers. Um, that's great. Have some washi tape by Teresa Collins. Another little stamp set. More washi tape. I think sometimes I think I've shown it to you before just because there's multiples of things. So uh, it makes me think I've already shown it, but really I haven't. It's just that there's more than one. <laughs> so these are October afternoon letter stickers. Um, let's see, we've got some Star Wars die cuts, this little sticker set partially used, some military borders. Bow Bunny cardstock stickers, some trim and twine, a stencil, um, a little bag of embellishments, some more washi tape, Star Wars stickers, these little embroidery kits, oh, some more of those fragment tags. Card. Got some stickers, jewels, uh, some turkey brads. It's another sticker or stamp. Some more simple stories stickers. Star Wars. More uh, hunting rifle brads. This little. Mona Me Gabby embellishments. Here's some Disney stickers. These news wrestling. Let's see, we've got some more embellishments. Some more washi tape. Some more washi tape. These cute little tiny bottles of Eileen's glue. I have never seen ones this small before. You know what, this would be great to throw in my little on the go crafting bag, so maybe I'll do that. I don't typically like Eileen's glue that much, but it'll be good for that. Um, we'll pick Disney stickers, some more Star Wars, more Disney, let's see what we've got. Uh, some bow bunny flat back jewels. Packaging for something. This one got a little bit bent, but I think it's all right. Webster's Pages family. 
glue stickers and some more of those tags all right so that was this little well this is a little 31 tote you can't even see it there you go all right let's uh, set that aside and keep digging in this bin okay some more of the Webster's Pages stickers, some gems. Oh, you know what? These are probably the die cuts that went in this little pouch, a little cruise ship die cut. Some more wrestling. Oh, <laughs> there's the uh, package for the glue, some jewelry glue. That might be good to have on hand, actually. The more embroidery kits. A crocodile, the big one. Feels like it is going to be good. These are great. All right, we've got some big binder clips. Let's see what's in this little bin. I feel like this might have been her personal craft supplies. Ooh, some Versicolor black. That's good ink. Uh, this cute little post-it no and these at these brads looks like it a magnifying glass okay some dymo labels oh looks like she was labeling for her store okay some little crocheted flowers got a picture here i'll set that aside let me see this look like rub-on transfers Paperwork, um, cards, oh, a Stickles vintage photo, little cheerleading die cut, wax paper, a stamping block, another little EK Tools piercer. Okay, it's a Tim Holtz stamping block. Little itty bitty. Some little gems. This is just a bunch of random highlighter with post-its. I like that. Dry erase markers. All right, that's just random. All right. Um, here's a piece of ribbon. Some spray bottles. All right, we have a bunch of this paper um, that's cut probably to use with that cardstock or that chipboard I found. Um, more washi tape, foam stickers. Oh, I meant to give this to someone. Okay, well, some ribbon. this bin. All right, I'm going to clean this up and then go through this other bin here. All right, let's go through this little tub. All right, we've got some painting palettes. Okay. Have some tacky spray, and I definitely can't ship that. I'll probably just add it to my adhesive. Um, my stick, and then this one's scrapbook adhesives, some envelopes, some stickers, some yarn, some other spray bottle, Oops, some more bone folders. I sold a bunch of these in one of my first auctions, and they went over well, so here's some more. Um, some more rhinestones, some washi tape, more rhinestones, have flip-flop glue. So this, oh wait, it goes with this. Create custom flip-flops, gems, crystal. Okay, so this is meant to, do, to glue gemstones onto your flip-flops. Very specific. <laughs> All right, this is like a little mini heat press. 
because there's no holes in it. So this, you know what, let's point this in while we're doing this and see if it heats up well. Let's set that up here so I don't burn myself and we'll check back in with that in a minute. See how that heats up, actually. Um, all right, we'll do that, that's fine. We have a big bottle of tacky glue small bottle of tack turbo tacky glue faster drying are these sealed no but it looks very uh like congealed <clears throat> so i'm just gonna toss that one what about this one ah yeah okay that's fine i don't like this glue anyways <clears throat> not my favorite all right mod podge outdoor exterior Oh, this stuff is fine. This is just fine. Can't ship it though, I don't think. A sealed one. We have Liquitex Light Modeling Paste. Sealed. This is good on stencils. Gel Medium. <gasps> this is stuff I just... It's very similar to the stuff I used on that cover. Hang on. Oh, this is what I used on this grungy cover I made. It was matte gel medium. This is, I don't know. I don't know what some of this is for, but I feel like this modeling paste you could put through a stencil maybe. I don't know. You guys can tell me. Um, embossing paste translucent I think it's fine um, I don't know what this is used for I'll have to look that up or someone can tell me in the comments outdoor exterior Mod Podge sealed so probably okay gesso sealed I literally just bought a bottle of this <laughs> Oh, and another one. Oh, I'm so glad I bought a bottle of it. Yep, that's sealed. Well, sealed, but looks like it leaked a little. I don't know. It's probably fine. More turbo glue. Is this one sealed? No, but this one looks fine. And then light modeling paste. So the same thing as that other one. This one's not sealed. But looks fine. Okay, so I'm going to have to look up what you use this for. So I don't know if I can ship this. I don't know. Um, Liquitex Basics Bronze. Oh, that's a, that's a good color to have. Okay. Oh. All right. Um... What is this? Tattered Angels Chalkboard Glimmer Mist. I think this is going to be okay. Color Wash Lettuce Fine Mist Spray by Tim Holtz. Oh my word, the dogs. I'm so sorry. Okay, hang on. Okay, I kicked the dogs out. You're welcome. All right, another one. Glimmer Mist, Tattered Angels, like Chalk, it says chalkboard, so maybe it's just a chalky finish. Teal, pretty. Broken China Distress Paint. Chalkboard Glimmer Mist. Black acrylic paint. Uh, here's another of those embossing paste. Translucent, same as that one. And another one, same as that one. Okay. We have some embossing powder. So we got silver, black, and another black, dry glitter. Okay, this is just straight up glitter by Stickles. So we got silver and another silver, another silver, gold, gold. This, which is definitely not good. It's got a big 
it's all dried out on the inside. Here's another embossing powder, some more glitter, some creative memories, double-sided self-adhesive. More stickles, frayed burlap, mystic green and silver. I'm pretty sure I have all those colors. Glossy accents. Um, scholastic glue sticks. Mm. Those are actually not dry. I'm shocked. Okay. More stickles. There's some more of those cruise ship die cuts. Some more. Oh, if you like this color in lettuce, I got you. Another chalkboard one. These look fine. Um, mm -hmm. Tarnish brass distress paint. Glitter paint. No, that's not good. Another embossing paste. Yeah, these look fine. I don't know what you use it for. Does embossing powder stick to it? I don't know. Calligraphy markers. Uh, purple grape ape more glitter Let's see got a bunch more of those cruise ship more washi a photo and document tape okay and some thread all right I have another bin to go to let's grab it do we have room here probably not let me clean this up and I'll come back all right, next bin. Creative memories. Tape runner refill and the tape runner. And then we have the little cutting guides with the blades that you run through them. I believe these are the blades, yeah. So three different blades and then all the templates. I bet somebody will really like these. I know I myself, I wouldn't use them, but that's actually nice. You got the blades and the templates and the little carrying bag. So that in there. Also, while I'm thinking about that, I know I, I've gotten messages from quite a few people asking for specific things. And while I wish I really could fulfill all those requests, it's just not feasible because there's so much stuff and I have so many messages from people wanting specific things and I just can't do that. It's too overwhelming. So I just, the way I'm selling it is on whatnot at an auction and I, it's just the easiest for me to not get overwhelmed trying to fulfill specific requests. So if you see something that you want, all I can say is try to come to the auction. I, I hope that doesn't like make you upset. I understand if it's frustrating. It's just, I have just so many messages from people wanting specific things and it's just, I just can't, it's just too overwhelming. So I do apologize for that. Um, but anyways, this is a punch that does these shapes. I have another crocodile. I have some stickers. Glitter craft foam. Bow bunny brads. Another punch. Uh, headband. One of these punches, I think that you can, um, thread ribbon through. A bunch of these little starburst ones. I know some of these I've shown, like we had, you know, because there's more than one. I have an EK Tools big square punch, one and a half inches, um, an embossing border, another ribbon stip, stitch punch, another one of these. I have a two and a half inch circle and a one inch circle. So I'll have to go through my punches and see, make sure I have those shapes before, before I sell them. 
Okay, we have some butterfly embossing folders. Some snowflake dies. Embossing. I cut them. Okay, so these are just die cuts, but they also emboss. So you get more detail in that one. This uh, flower and leaves and some more snowflake sizzlets. Um, let's see. There's another big punch, big tag punch. Couple, wait, you know what? I think I showed those. I'm not gonna show them. There's more of those polka dot totes. I think I showed. Oh, well, I'll show you one. I, I had these in one of my shows already, but I do I did find some more of these creative options craft totes. Um, we have this punch. A little Zyron sticker maker. Another ribbon stitch punch, this flower one. And you can buy different cartridges to stick in there. A border embossing folder. This organize all your memories. This would be really great for um, organizing die cuts or ephemera. And it's very tall. So that's pretty cool. A great storage option. A bunch of glitter. It looks like it's just missing a couple. Adhesive tape roller by Martha Stewart. We have some more Project Life cards. A few more book rings. There is some yarn in here. Got this one, this one, this would make a cute, maybe on a dangle actually. Just that same kind. Pom pom. And this one. Um, Alright, that is it for that then. So I think I'm going to clean this up. Um, that's probably it for this video. I hope you enjoy. Make sure you check out my community tab for my upcoming auctions this week. I have a couple scheduled and you never know when I might just do a little pop-up. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.